is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? I hope you learn to make it on your own And if you let yourself just know you'll never be alone I hope that you get everything you want and that you chose I hope that it's the realest thing that you ever know Hope you get the pretty girls that's pretty at everything My name is James Logan and this is my dream if you're looking for work, you can't connect, nothing seems to be happening, maybe you need a coach. James Logan is a coach. He is a career coach. His company, Higher Level Coaching, is based in Detroit. First of all, what is a coach and what sure. is a coach going to do for me? Sure, a career coach is similar to an athletic coach. Our job is to help our clients, or like an athletic coach, is to help their players in the best, put them in the best position to win the game. So my job is help my clients put my put them in the best position to win in their career, advance their career faster, or if it's getting a job, whether it's a dream job or your bridge job, my goal is to help identify things that you might not be able to see from your perspective. Um, I started higher level coaching two years ago officially, but unofficially probably when, when I first came to college because I started mentoring people, I started advising people, I always felt like uh, you know, if I reach a level of success, it was my duty and obligation to help other people at least reach that level or try to help them reach that level. I graduated with a sociology degree from Michigan in 2008, middle of the economic recession. I was applying, you know, I had an internship right after I graduated a year. It lasted a year. I was applying for uh, a job a day after that internship ended, 2009, summer 2009. A job a day for maybe three months straight, honestly. Um, I might be exaggerating a little bit there, but I was applying to a lot, a lot of jobs. I ended up, I ended up, uh, I like to say I messed around and found my dream job. <laughs> and, uh, and that was my, as an international recruitment coordinator for the University of Michigan Flint. So I traveled to over 30 countries at 23 years old um, to recruit international students. And I did this, you know, I didn't have to pay for a thing, but souvenirs. So this was really my dream job and that I would do, I would have done it for free. Um, so meanwhile, I'm taking pictures in front of the Great Wall and Mount Corcovado and the Dead Sea and, you know, these landmarks and these beautiful places. And people are like, hey, how can I do the same thing? How can I live a job that I'm happy, you know, going to work every day and I'm sad when I have to leave? And I said, well, let me see your resume. Let me see how you're communicating in your cover letter and your interview skills and things like that. So it kind of started there. I started helping people in my church, doing the presentations. And then, uh, you know, word of mouth, you know, helped me grow. People said, hey, it worked. I had an interview after working with you after I did, you know, have an interview previous three, four jobs I applied to. Uh, so it grew and grew and grew. And then in 2013, I said, you know what, this is a business. I can incorporate. So I started my LLC. And a year later, I was able to put my full-time job at the University of Michigan to, to run this full-time. I see it being a national thing. Uh, I see it being, a, you know, quite honestly, a, a, a franchise across the, the country. I want to keep the cost low, but I want to teach other people how to do what I'm doing as well because there's always a need for it. Uh, I, you know, I hate when people say uh, my market is everyone, but my market is everywhere. There's someone always looking for a job or looking to advance their career. So, around 300 people so far, I want to help another, you know, uh, you know 2,000. 2,500 before I really thinking about you know scaling it, and we can do that in a couple of years. You know, at the pace we're on now, we can. That's, that's conceivable. I'm sacrificing my health. I work 14-hour days. I'm sacrificing my relationships. I don't get to see my kids. Every week. I got three boys. I got a beautiful wife. She holds it down. Um, and of course, that's straining for everybody, and it's hard for people to really understand. But I got a, people around me who really see the vision. Um, so being a one-man band means I have to do everything, not only get the clients and talk to the clients and meet with the clients, but also market. And we had an event, networking event, there's 100 people out here. I was running around earlier in the day getting sandwiches and getting tables and taking them back and renting, you know, tablecloths, going to the dollar store. Um, you know, you do everything. They say, you know, it, it's a CEO is one job, but it's a million jobs because I'm not only just a CEO, CEO and the, you know, uh, I'm the accountant finance guy and the fundraiser, we had a fundraiser campaign. I, I'm doing all of this, I'm conceiving it, and I'm also executing it. I'm also trying to manage the growth and also manage client expectations. So it's a tough, 
tough job, but the idea is, you know, again, it never, you know, anything great didn't happen overnight. So. The number one piece of advice, it, it sounds so simple, is to do it. It's, it's cliche, but to really put an idea into action, put it on paper, uh, uh, make it tangible, because a lot of people are, 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 are paralyzed by analyzing so much. They don't want to do anything until it's perfect, but it's never going to be perfect. You know, people say, hey, I want to have kids at the, very, at the right time. It's what's the right time when you have so much money? What if, you know, something's going to come along where you might not make that money at that point. So uh, I wanted to start this business because I wanted to learn how to run a business. I didn't necessarily want to start this business to make a million dollars. If it's going to come, absolutely, I'm going to work toward it. But I really wanted to learn fast by failing, and I've made a lot of mistakes right now, and I can do that because the stakes are low. When I have these large contracts or when I'm at in 15 different states, I can't make those same mistakes. I can't afford to make those same mistakes. So make those mistakes now. Write a blog, start talking, try to find your voice and see what kind of feedback you get because that feedback is going to allow you to tailor it and, and change and alter your message and really find yourself. And then you're going to say, all right, I'm comfortable with who I am now. And some people might not like it, some people might like it. And that's my approach. Hey, I'm a coach. And if people don't like my style or my aggression or my intensity, then I might not be the coach for you. But uh, so start now, do it, and learn because through those failures, you're going to learn how to build, 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 create, create, create. And that's where uh, we don't have to compete with other people when we create. You're creating. You know what I mean? It's something that dream is something that you conceived in your mind and now it's on shirts, now it's on paper, now it's on Instagram, now it's electronic. People can touch it, feel it, interact with it. And people won't be able to do that if it's just in your head. So do it. I don't care how small it is, if you create something, people don't need to know that it's successful or not for them to attach on to it because you doing something, you starting something is 99% more than what most people ever do. So start it, do it now, don't wait. There's no reason to wait until the conditions are right. The conditions are never right. Dreams have a million dollar dreams. When you get it all, just remember one thing. Remember one thing, that one man can change the world. One man can change the world